Hey guys, let's make some pepper steak. So I sliced my uh, beef really thin. You can use any kind of steak you want. I have sirloin here. And I'm, I have some, um, a little marinade. So in this bowl, we have some ginger, some garlic, um, minced up really, really fine, some um, dark soy sauce. We actually use some uh, Maggie as well, some dark soy sauce, some rice wine vinegar, some um, cornstarch, and some baking soda, lots of black pepper, and I guess a couple other things. But I'll have all the ingredients listed uh, below. Let's get started. While my meat is marinating for about a half an hour, I went over and I used some dark soy sauce, some cornstarch, and also uh, a little oyster sauce in this and made a slurry with the cornstarch and water. I had my onions and peppers cubed up and I have a little celery for crunch and a little ginger and some more minced garlic or chopped garlic. In a really hot wok, I'm just gonna add some avocado oil so I can start um, browning my beef. So in a really hot wok, I'm just gonna take my beef and add it to the pan. I wanna do this a little bit at a time. Um, it doesn't all have to go in all at once because you wanna get a nice crust on your beef. So we'll just do this in batches. Listen, your beef always talks to you, so don't move your meat until it's ready. When it's ready, it'll release itself from the pan, and then you can toss it. So you want it to get a nice crust on it. Just like so. You want to take this out and then start another bag. You definitely want to keep everything moving because you don't want that nice spine that's right there at the bottom to burn because you need to use that because that's all the flavor for this dish. Just about there. We just don't want to see any pink. And then we'll add in our vegetables. Now we just add in our peppers and let them cook down for just a little bit, maybe about two minutes, because you don't you want your bunch vegetables to stay crunchy. And this is on a higher heat, and I did add in some more oil. And it's gonna help us to get that nice spawn off of the bottom as well. I did go ahead and add in some garlic, about two minutes in, toss that around, let it get nice and fragrant for about one minute, that's garlic and ginger. Add in your celery, if you want more, you can, I just want a little crunch, so I added in some slivers of um, some cut celery. Because I like everything spicy, I'm just going to add in a little bit of hot sesame oil. And I don't really want it to cook, I just want to flavor with just a little bit, like a half a teaspoon. I add my beef back in. Give that a quick stir. Add in my flurry. And then just get this all tossed around and let it thicken and you are done. We have some pepper steak, honey. Look how good that looks. Just toss it around, let every piece of beef get coated in that sauce. Sorry if I don't have the best camera angles today. But there you have it, luscious, delicious pepper steak.
let's plate it up. So there you have it. This is my yummy pepper steak. This just took minutes to cook and prepare and oh my gosh, let's taste it. Just have a little bit of jasmine rice with it. It's hot. All right, let's taste it. So tender. Oh my gosh, this, the ginger, the garlic, just a hint of that spicy, hot sesame oil. So good. Mm -mm -mm. Making some tonight, super easy to do. I'm your girl Tamika from Out Day's Kitchen, and bye for now.